Hit the board there, Talio, a couple of in and out, dribbles to the corner, they go, Ighalo fires and scores! Again, that's so far, as, yeah, the previous two guys were Tich Tamalip and Art de la Cruz. Ighalo will go for five straight points here. And you just love the, the fight. Add it here for the Davo Occidental Tigers. Ighalo, can he get another one? Yes, yes. sir! Eight straight points for Ken Ighalo, a personal... You know, little slowly, unti-unti, try and chip away at that deficit. The lead was as high as 29 points for Fuentes, Talio, to Chris Lalata. LJ Gonzalez on him. Ighalo. Puts it up, no good. Agavida keeps it alive. Keith backing down Jason Opiso. Agovida puts it up off the glass and in. And so far that almost threw it away there. Talking about the Tigers. They have to be careful here if they want to make a run. Talio launches and knocks it down. Now you like the swag right now. Also. Salubre has Lalata running the floor. Oh. Chris Lalata will get the basket plus the foul. This fourth quarter, this momentum, somehow. Mainly for defensive purposes, but that play, he made that happen. Mm -hmm. Making a pass to Chris Lalata, who finishes and gets the foul. He completes the three-point play opportunity. Continues from the field mm -hmm. for Quezon. Talio leaking out. And Talio will finish the two points. Again, staying the course. Axis moments right. here from the crowd. Right, and everybody up on their feet. Salubre from downtown. What a conversion coming from the home ground. Game. The amount of threes that they made, the ball movement right there, corner three pocket on its way. Extra pass, Ken Ighalo to Janser Salubre. Hand in the face, no problem. That's bullseye. Para Here we go. Talio. A quick trigger coming from him. La Lata was trying to get that offensive rebound, but it seems there was a push. De La Cruz hands it off to Talio. Wow. Back to Art. De La Cruz recovers, puts it in. Oh, Cruz and Salubre the other way. Either way, potentially, pointing on the score. And Quezon oh. has broken their scoreless drought. They were scoreless for example. That's the first field goal, right? In this quarter, yes. Para sa Quezon, La Lata. Access denied by RJ Minerva. But that fumble delayed him. And able to have that uh, RJ Minerva block come in to stop what could have been an easy. Uh, De La Cruz to the right side. Ighalo makes the drive to the baseline. Now the Huskers are in the penalty. Yep. In the shaded area. Again, Ighalo was responsible for that run at the start. Has a chance to break it to within two. There you go. He does 73 to 72. Migs Gomez and also happy birthday to Mr. Zhao Arsenas from your son, Mr. Maui Perez. Yep. From Maui. Committing the personal foul to give Fuentes three free throws. Line in this game, but from the field in general. Fuentes goes three for three. In 10 seconds to go here in this game. Lalata offers the screen. Talio also fouled. Paul. Mm -hmm. Talio knocks down the first. Talio is just a 50% 50 free throw yeah. shooter this year. He gets two out of three. In the corner. Talio in and out. Pulls up for the three. That's oh. good. Money from the outside. Coming from back. On Gonzalez. Igalo has his hand up on Torres. Gonzalez gets by La Lata and gets the lay to drop. Oh, that's one mismatch from up high that they want to take. right there out in the open. Meantime, let's look at this three right here. So, little step back to the side. And how about this? LJ's got La Lata on an island, went on to finish. Uh, this entire offers the brush screen. De La Cruz from the outside. Too strong. Ball is loose to be a, a factor here 
Lalata makes that. Can he tie this game? He does. It's 78 apiece. 